In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you kind of a glitchy little blitz out of the nickel normal formation in Madden 22. This is a concept that you can use. I'm gonna go over just a couple different ways in which it's going to manifest itself, especially against one of the better offenses in the game, the bunch formation. Um, so if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. I want to thank you for watching the video. Also, if you want to learn, you know, all the rest of the content, just be able to know whenever we release new videos. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that. And I, I got to tell you guys, um, the nickel normal, I just keep coming back to it. I, I really enjoy this defense. This defense can do a lot. It has every pressure concept in it. Um, it has, you know, incredible max protect pressures that will come in even if they're blocking everybody. Um, it has pressures that will gas them up and force them to do that. It's got pressures that are kind of delayed, pressures that are in your face. There's just all kinds of different concepts within nickel normal. And so today I wanted to go over one of my favorite ones out of Buck Slant Show 2. Um, and we're going to show how it works against Bunch. I actually wrote a whole ebook on the Nickel Normal, which also includes a massive, massive tutorial explaining um, how match defense works this year. So if you want to learn how to do run match in addition to how to want, run a really incredible, incredible defense, I'd encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And the cool part about the membership is it includes not only are you going to get access to the Nickel Normal Guide, you're actually going to also get access to all 25 of my Madden strategy guides. And in addition to that, our weekly pro tips um, that just kind of keep you on top of the meta are in there as well. We do those every single week. So anyways, let's just jump in and break down this pressure. I'm going to set one audible here, Nickel Blitz 2, just to kind of show something at the end of the video. But anyways, um, how we're going to run this, I'm going to move the ball to the opposite hash. Most, most people run their bunch to the wide side. But it's actually really simple. So um, there's there's two different ways to run this. So the first way to run this is to just simply contain, and then you're just gonna vert hook the slot. And what you'll see is a lot of times this will come in, um, especially if you're on the other on the other side. And I'll show you um, how to do this. It's actually really kind of an interesting deal. So the first thing that you can do is if you flip. What you want to do is you want to contain, but I think even more importantly, you want to kind of, you can kind of get away with this right here where this defender, um, honestly, you can do whatever you want with it. Okay. Um, he's kind of your wild card. Notice that unfortunately, just the way the formation aligns, it, it is a little bit of a tell and I'm going to show you how to deal with the tell here in just a second. But anyways, as you can see, I've got this guy coming off the edge. And then I've got this kind of contained concept built. And you see here, a lot of times he'll come off that left side. I'll show it to you one more time and then we'll go over a couple of other ways to run this concept. So again, we're just gonna contain. And then I like to man up the slot corner on the running back. And what you'll see is typically that looper will come around. You might need a safety there, but anyways, that's the idea, okay? now. What we can do if we don't want to have to flip the play, because I don't really want to have to flip the play. I want it to be kind of, honestly, I want it to look like this and I want it to still work. So here's what you can do. Instead of zoning this guy, we're going to zone this guy. So you see here, Barrett, we're going to put him in a vert hook. Now this guy is on a contain and this guy is kind of on a crashed angle. And what you'll see this creates is kind of a really glitchy little disengage that a lot of times will come in through the B gap. And I'll show that again. Um, this does work. I have to, you know, I'll be honest. It does work just a, just a little better if you don't pinch your linebackers. So if we just leave them kind of where they're at, you'll see this contain and nickel work together and they create a real glitchy kind of four man rush. Now, another thing that you can do, um, another thing that you can do with this concept is we don't need this guy in the blitz. So we can bluff blitz him, and then we can, again, take this guy. If we wanted to man this guy up on the running back, we could do that as well. But anyways, you see here, again, this little glitchy kind of looping pressure. It's really a fun little blitz, and it's really good against escape artists. If you think about escape artists, most escape artist quarterbacks, they want to roll out. Um, they want to roll out to the side of the tight end because they're going to get better blocking. Well, in bunch, this is a pretty decent little blitz. Now, let's say, for example, that they block the running back 
a lot of times this blitz will is basically running back proof it didn't come in completely clean there but a lot of times it will come in um, against a blocked running back another thing that you can do with this is if you crash your line down when you contain you'll notice that the linebacker stays on the contain and then you can feel free to pinch your pinch your line and so you see it kind of looks like this now this is a little bit more of an aggressive version of this blitz but what i like about this is it gives us just a little sharper angle and a lot of times you'll see here again you're going to get some disengages and some a gaps so this is kind of a fun little blitz that you can mess with now um, another thing that we can do with this that i think is really interesting is if i audible to nickel blitz 2 and pinch my defense notice this blitz angle is sharp and this blitz angle is inside so if i was to blitz david and contain you'll see that the nickel is now on the contain the only reason why that's significant is if you watch you'll see that it's going to create this kind of crazy pressure off of the right side now um last thing i want to come about is the tight end here so let's say they let's say they block their tight end again you want to kind of do like this if you will if they block their tight end a lot of times it's still going to come through as you can see right there he, the contain still kind of fights through and is able to come in uh, pretty well so as you can see i mean just a simple kind of it's honestly just a simple little blitz but it's really really effective um let me see here let me reset um, another thing you can do with this is you can just zone out the corner um, and you'll notice that this loop will still come through just like that okay so you can kind of mess with that a little bit if you want but last thing that i want to point out is kind of a concept it's kind of a universal play and i'm going to do it out of this but you can do it out of anything so what we're going to do here is we're going to blitz white and we're going to qb contain now notice that when we pinch white goes on the contain so as you can see here he's on a contain and now david is also i moved him but he was on a contain now i'm not too worried about david in this example i just want you to see that this little contain rush right here is pretty glitchy regardless and you can actually build around this this is a nice little defense that you can use you can actually create some cool little uh looping pressures out of this but again here you'll see i'm gonna pinch my line and it'll put both of these guys on contains so you see how they're both on a contain now what i can do from a defensive perspective i've got a couple different options my favorite thing to do is to take this backside safety and just user him so you know we can still play kind of hard flats if you will um, just kind of a cover three base or whatever but what's really nice about this this is a i think it's a five man pressure and you'll see that a lot of times these loops will both come in if not at least one of them will come in so this is a way that you can also kind of build this pressure um you know where you can again get these looping concepts so literally all we're doing is pinching our line blitzing our linebackers um and then what i like to do you might need to move this guy just a step which is fine and then i'm going to use it as safety now again you can take that nickel corner and feel free to zone him out he is not necessity to the blitz if you really wanted to um you could also spy this guy it's not a bad idea to spy that guy right there and what you'll see is these little loops doing really good as you can see so they're really good for contain they're also really good for pressure kind of just disengages um just something simple you can do out in the nickel formation this year uh, just think it's something kind of kind of neat another thing that i wanted to also point out is you can do something like this if you wanted to you can kind of you can kind of get this guy to still be on a contain see that right there from the middle so you see how he's on the whoops let me move him just so, enough to get him on the contain here and the reason you might want to do this is again if you're trying to create kind of a four three even front but what's what's cool about it is a lot of times this will cre still create that glitchy disengage pressure off of the edge so just a lot you can do from Bucks Land 3 and a lot you can do in Nickel Normal. So just wanted to kind of preview the ebook. These are just some basic ideas. If you want to learn the rest of this and kind of it all fleshed out and the match coverages that go with it and all of that stuff, that'll be linked in the description. You can join the Patreon for only 10 bucks and it gets you access to everything, all of our ebooks, all of our weekly updates and all of the updates to our guides overall as long as your membership is active and 
literally today you'll walk away with 25 offensive and defensive ebooks and over a hundred videos that we've done throughout this season just to kind of update things for you so if you want to get access to all that content and really dive in and digest it i'd encourage you to sign up for our membership it's only 10 bucks there's a link in the description below if you want to go check it out thanks for watching the video and we'll see you guys next time